Choo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are actually driving the truck down to the backyard pond. We've got something special for you. We've got some gentlemen coming out to... Yeah, I'm not wearing my seatbelt, but I'm also going down a ATV trail. Um, so we've got gentlemen coming out. They're going to come shock the pond. We did this last year at the Brew Bakery, and we discovered, well, there was a lot of green sunfish, not much of anything else. This pond, on the other hand, should be a little bit more interesting for you guys because we've we've caught a catfish out of here. We've caught lots of bass. We've caught some crappie. We've caught bluegills, um, and that's really it. But there could be some crazy animal in there, Loch Ness Monster-looking son of a gun. I'm not really sure. We'll see if these guys can get their boat across this skinny little bridge. We might have to. You want to hop out and just yeah. make sure these guys don't die real quick? That'd be yeah. pretty. That'd be pretty neat. All right, anyway, so we're headed down to the pond right now to kind of, this is kind of my way of figuring out what's in the pond, and then we need to stock accordingly. You know, do we need more bluegills? Do we need more bass? Do we need less of everything? Do we need, you know, whatever it might be. This is a really efficient way of figuring out what, what your pond looks like, and especially this time of year right now where everything, it's warm, everything's nice up and shallow, and uh, and just kind of chilling. Probably should wait for Bonzo, so don't leave. Oh, it looks like, it looks like they didn't die, so that's pretty neat, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna head down to the pond. We gotta get this boat in the water, and and uh, we're gonna see what exactly we've got living inside the backyard pond. I'm excited, this is something I've wanted to do since the day I bought this pond. Today is finally that day, but in case you guys are curious, this is a very expensive process, so do me a huge favor and use promo code FLAIR to get 15% off your purchase at GuggenSquad.com. You can get this shirt, this hat, whatever it might be, linked down below. Go check it out, and uh, see you guys at the pond. Yes, sir, we're excited. Bonzo's excited. I love dipping. Like, he, he's a you big, never know what you're going like, to find. Big, you haven't seen this before, I though, have, have not, you? No. You're a big dip guy, so yeah. this is going to be good. Now, this is where things get interesting, folks. We've got these guys. So, I can't remember. If you jump in the water when these are on, you get fried, right? Or is that not you how it works? You get fried, but you get zapped. You get, you get zapped? It's like grabbing a, an electric fence. Oh, okay. A little more. Only a little more. Okay. okay. So, don't fall in. So, you should yeah. jump in. So, don't jump in. <laughs> we don't need anyone jumping in today. You're more likely to die from Drowning by, by drowning from it. Okay. Either way, not a not a good deal. But so up here so. we've got so these guys go in the water and they transmit electricity into the water. So what it does is, by the way, this does not hurt the fish. Okay, it stuns them, doesn't kill them. They just basically can't swim as fast as they usually do. Hey, how's it going, geese? They don't swim as fast as they usually do, and so it makes it a little bit easier to dip them out and, and catch them. But again, no harm done. And this is one of those deals where you don't know what you're gonna get. Any fish that's in here is potentially catchable with these uh these a little electronic I don't know what you call danglers call them electronic danglers so basically what we're gonna do is me and bonds are gonna be up top we got the old dip nets you're gonna be filming and we're going to be looking for fish and so what you want to do is you want to take a survey you want to you want to scoop up your bluegills your crappie your bass your catfish whatever you catch and then you, we're gonna do some measurements we're gonna get an average on the lake and then like average out the amount uh, per acre and basically again it's just an easy way not an easy way but an efficient way let's put it that way it's an efficient way to figure out what the ratio of fishes to bluegill to bass to catfish to crappie inside of body water whether you have too many or too little this is how we figure it out so you guys stay tuned oh hey guys how's it going look at this pov little net and pov right here this is exciting oh oh what's that bluegill. get him you got him you got him you got him first fish what do we got bonzo oh bluegill yep oh yeah do you want to measure any of these or yeah, okay the so just toss them in the live well Yep, look at that one. Look at the bass, yeah. look at the bass. Oh, oh, oh he's stuck. Look at him. <laughs> he's there. way out there. So. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one right there. Right in front of the, he's inside the tongs right now. See him? He's going on yep. the left. There you go. You got it, come on. You got it, you got him. Yep. Yeah, we got a bass. First largey. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's about average right there. Yeah. Alright, toss with the box. No. Oh, there's a bat bat swam out, but he wasn't shocked. He's gonna be right in the middle of us in a second. Okay. He swam out from the bush, so it might get him. There he is, right there. Yes, sir. There's two. There's another one. Oh. Got him. I got him. You got that got one? Got it. All right. Yes, sir. Another largey. Going in the box. He's right there. See him? There he is. Oh, that's bluegill. There you go. I don't know if I got there you go. Up. You get him? Yep. Yeah, you got him. Bluegill. Shoot, sure, that's a big one. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's a bass. That one. Look at these guys. That one's pretty. That's a pretty looking one. There's a bass right here. Got him. There should be one to your left, maybe. We got another bass. These are just little guys, though. There's a bluegill right there. Got him. Shoo! Now, this is my kind of fishing here, folks. This is, a fi <laughs> this is efficiency. Bunch right there. Oh, yeah. There you go. You got two. I don't know if I can reach this one. Ugh. Got him. There we go. Three more bluegills. Yes, sir. 
Right there. That's crazy. Yeah, I think our bluegill population is pretty decent. They were pretty good size too. Ooh, this, this is intense now, folks. Working up a sweat here, catching all these fish. Oh, there's a, uh, that's bass. Where? You see that they left? Right below the, it's pretty deep. Yeah, he's real deep. You got him. Did you right. get him? I think so. Really? Yeah. Oh, you got him. There you go. How's that one? Better one, ain't it? Yeah, about the same. They've all been about the same size for large. He's no big. Oh, yeah. Well. Only way I catch bass. There's the bass. Oh. Nope. You get him. Did you get him? Nope. He's still down there. You got him. You got him. You got him. There you go. A little large. Same size, dude. They're all yeah. the same size. Got a lot of these guys. You gotta start checking them out. Really? Oh, I can't believe we haven't got a crappie yet. He's too far. That's a bass. Yeah. Oh, he's still down there. Oh, you got, I got him. him. Nope. Missed him. I got him. You got him? Yep. <laughs> Third time. There you go. Arm. There we oh, go. There's, oh, there's bass. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of fish right here. There we go. Got a largey. Just a little guy. A whole bunch of fish. I got two. Look at this. Oh, there's a bluegill, dude. He's, he's like red. Look at that guy. He's like red. Look at that. Like <laughs> he looks like a goldfish. Another largey. Right, right at you. Right. There you go. Oh yeah. Got him. Yep. There you Another go. Another large. Yes, sir. Got a little mud on him. Okay, we're getting close to the bush. Dreams are made of, folks. This is where. It, oh, there's a bass right there, Bonzo. Right there, turn your left. Yes, sir. You got him. You got him. Woo! He's begging, baby. A little longer. Oh, big bluegill right down here. You get him? Yep. Got him. Oh, oh, that's a little bass. Got him? Yep. Just a couple other more. Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. A little bass. A little bass. Another bluegill. Where are you at, Big Bertha? Oh, you're kidding me. You must turn the electricity off. This is a lie. Nothing in the bushes, really. That's rocking there. We oh, hey, right there. Bonzo, right there. Out of the bush. Left, 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 left. That one. There's there another go. one, Andrew. Oh, there's one in know. the middle. Sorry, that's one I saw. The bush did have something. I knew it had something. Oh, there it is. That's a good one. Oh, oh. rip to that guy. It's fast. Oh, crappie! We got a crappie. Big bluegill. Yes, sir. Oh, what's that guy doing? Largey or catfish or something? I don't know. Something kind of a little weird. Where's that guy? Well, oh, large baby. Baby. Yep. Baby bass. There you go. Deep, 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 deep. He's real deep. There you go. You got him, I think. Where'd yep. you miss him? Yeah? What? How? You missed him. He's right there. I'll get him again. There you got there him. Go. Hey, you got him. Largey? Same oh, yeah. size. Snap, crack, pop. Where, where, where? Right there. Deep, deep, deep. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Mm -hmm. I think you got him. Yep. yep. Bonzo is king net guy right now. I guess so. On left side. It's a little smaller. There's too much going on right now. Oh, there's bass. Yep, got a largey. There we go, bass bluegill combo, two for one. Give me that. Give me that bass. You got a big one? I mean, not a big one, but a bass. Look at that. Is it chunky? Dude, he looks gross. I would think they would bed back here, dude. This is a six, oh, oh little bass, but they skirted the, uh, the old electricity. I'm not seeing much. This is crazy. I thought this would be loaded with bait fish and bass and everything. Maybe they're not, they might not be pushed up yet, I guess. I don't know. We might get attacked here in a second. There's a, like a bobcat back there, Andrew. Oh, yeah. There's a bobcat? It's something. It's a cat. Oh, 100%. That's what it is. They're trying to eat those geese. Yeah. 
That's why they freaked out. Wow, so I didn't even get to see it, but Bonzo said there's a bobcat back there. There were some geese back there, and all of a sudden the geese freaked out for no reason. And I guess there was a bobcat, that's crazy. Bobcat's trying to eat some geese out there. I wouldn't mess with a goose if I was a bobcat. Those things are mean. You're kidding me. Come here, buddy. Where'd he go? Now I lost him. I suck. I had him in the net and he swam right out. Oh, we'll go. Got him. I got a little bluegill. Oh, right there, right in the middle, right in the middle. I think that's a big drop. Get him? No. Oh, he's still down there. Deeper. Oh. Got him. Ah, yeah. oh, what did I say? Big crappie. Right in those trees. Look at that guy. Wow. Big old crappie. You got him. You. Largey, coming in hot. There he is. Old bags only. Yo. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, you found him. Yep, keep her going. Yep, we found the bluegills, folks. Oh my God. This is where I'm bluegill this fishing. This is where the bluegills are at. Ah, that stupid thing. <laughs> Leaning on my keys. <laughs> Dude, there's so many bluegill. Look at this. Look at this. You talk about some bacon, baby. Woo! Maybe. Oh, don't want to lose them. There we go. Yeah, this, this is where the gills are, boys. Yes, sir. Look at these things. Woo, bacon. We just found the absolute mother load for bluegills, folks. I mean, mother load. All good size eating bluegills, and there was like 30 of them in just one little cut. I know we're on bluegill. Oh, there's a bass. What's going on? Hey guys, this sucker was quick. Lots of bluegills. I would I would say we don't have a shortage of them. We got a lot. We gotta start doing some catch cooks, Bonzo. Good news. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's this guy? Bass? Yeah. Largy. Yes, sir. Oh, oh right under what's it. going on here? Another one too. We got another crappie, folks. Oh, we got another bass. Hold up. Get him? Yo, I didn't get shit over there. <laughs> he tried for two. <laughs> He's a little better. You say he looked a little longer. Oh yeah. Oh big boy. Can get him? Oh, oh. It's under me. Oh no. No. Here we go. Bass under your engine. Out here, out here. Oh, biggin. You got him. Got him. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at that guy. Yeah. That's, that's what we're after there, folks. He's short and fat. All right, we got more. I got one. There's one down there still. Yep, you got him. Wow, that was a good one there. I didn't see one like that in a yeah. while. We finally got a big bass, folks. I mean, he was short and fat as can be. Probably three and a half, four pounds. Oh, there's a, there's a little larger right there. Blue or something. No, oh, come back to me. Quit swimming away yeah. from me. I want to find more like that, though. That was a big boy. Another on your left right there. Got deep. Oh, big bass. Oh, God. Right here. There you go. Oh, you get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my oh. god, oh my god, he's huge. Oh he's my god, he's huge. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that's what we're after there, boys. What do you think that way? Dude, that's a big bass. Oh my gosh, that's huge, bro. All right, we gotta put him in here. Oh, that's big boy there. 
I'll get that first one for you. Yeah, that one's probably four and a half, five pounder. You got a little bass in front of you. Alright. Oh my god, I'm so happy we got that one. Yeah, I can't believe I got it. I cannot believe we got that big bass, dude. How much do you think is that one? I that's five it's a five pounder. Yeah, yeah that's big boy. Big old bluegill. Phew! Right there. Bass right in front of you. Look at that bass, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Got a second wind, there's a good one. Right. 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 That's a good one. I got that one. Yeah, that's a little better one. Yeah. He's chunkier. here. back here. A little mud with that guy. Come here, Junior. There you go, another bass. Oh, you stay in there. Oh, got out. Little Junior. Oh, good bass stand his left. It's a Andrew, crappie. Your left. Or That's a crappie. crappie. Yeah. He's stuck under that log. Oh, there we go. Oh, you sucker! I think you swam in there. Yep, in the tree. Yep. Big old guy. Is it a bass? No. Oh, yeah. it's crappy. That's a little better one. Oh, yeah. That's a good size one there. Phew. Oh, we got another one. Get anything, Ty? I think so. Need some? Got two gills. That's a pretty looking thing. Dark color. There we go. This looks like lunch to me, Andrew. What is it? Nice little gill. Well, folks, there you have it. We shocked the whole pond. Now it's time to, we gotta kind of look over all the fish that we got and uh, and just see, you know, we gotta measure them, do the averages. I mean, obviously the average size bass is about a pound and a half, but we got two big ones, one absolute kager, kager, kager bass. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of surveying and just kind of crunch the numbers a little bit and then uh, we'll see what the results are. Yeah. There you go. Hold oh, oh, that goodness. big boy up. Look at that. That's, that's, I would say this is about the size of the one that I caught last year. Yeah. I don't think I caught nah. that guy last year. That's a big one there. Bass, 12, 318, 378, bluegill, 7, 6, 8, 7, 8, 19. 474 1986 What was it? 1986 How many pounds is that? Four and a quarter. That's about what I caught. I I weighed mine or I guess like four and a half, so it's about the same. There you go. Oh yeah. Alright, let's take let's take guesses right now. I'm going five and a half. That's about right. Five Five and three quarters. Okay. I'm get. I'm optimistic. Let's see what the length is. Oh yeah. 21. 21. Wow, that's a big fish. 520. 28, 38. It's quite a bit bigger than the last one. What's that about? I'll tell you exactly. Six and a quarter. Whoa! Oh, we low. Six and a quarter. This is a six-pound bass living in my pond. That is mind-blowing right now. Six and a quarter. Yeah, that was a big fish right there. That's crazy. Well, 
Well, folks, there you have it. We've got the, uh, all the numbers are in. We haven't reached a verdict yet, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna run around and do what's called power shocking, which is just look for big bass, big crappie, big bluegill, whatever it might be, it just big, big fish in general. Um, because what, what you were saying that the uh, the bluegills that we missed will, are still kind of stunned a little bit, which would attract a big bass because it looked like it was wounded. So there's a chance that we might find another one of them six and a quarter pounders, maybe even bigger, so stay tuned. It Kyle's. Oh. Right here, right there. Lower, lower. Just barely. Oh, she's right here. About a four. She's a, she was over there. That was about a four. It wasn't as big as that one, but it was probably big as that second biggest one. Probably right at four. Yeah. Well, we just missed a four pounder. Classic. Well, for power shock, we had, well, there was one. There was one big and four pounders what we're guessing that me and Bonzo miss it, swam away too fast. Um, but we got everything calculated. Let's uh, let's see what the verdict is. Shoo! Well, folks, it is the next day. I wanted to end this video with giving you guys some intel. So the uh, the gentleman that came out and they electroshocked the pond gave me a full report, and it basically says what I assumed, um, confirmed my suspicions. We've got way too many of that 14 and under bass range, that like 12, 13, 14, and maybe even touching the 15. We got too much. I'll pop up some graphs here to show you guys. There's the bass graph, there's the bluegill graph, and as you can see on the bluegill graph, there's a big lack of that feeder size, that three to like six inch bluegill, three to five inch bluegill, the perfect feeder size for that 14 inch bass. That means that as you can see on the bass chart, the, the size of the bass between like the 13 and the 14 are super high, which means there's no bluegills that would fit in that range. So it's, it's a give and take. The size of bait, the size of bluegill that a 14 inch bass eats, there was a huge lack of, meaning there's not enough, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Corona! I felt that one down on my toes. That was a good one. Anyways, so basically, like I said, we're lacking the bait, and that just means that there's an overpopulation of bass. Now, could you go in and stock those size of bluegills at the bass seat? Yes, but more than likely, there's too many bass uh, in general for the pond. Like, we shocked, as you can tell by the charts, like over 100 bass, and like 90 of them were, were in that size. So we gotta do some switching around. We might take a few um, and put them in our pet fish pond and try to grow them, but I think the best place to put them is in Kyle's pond, the Brute Bakery, um, because there's so much bait in the Brute Bakery after stock in the last couple years with just mainly forage and bait. We only put like 20 bass in there. I think if we take another 25 bass out of my pond, put them in Kai Dog's pond, I think that would help equalize both ponds. Plus, I'm going to have beamer fisheries come down and bring more bluegills. I'm actually going to have bring catfish too, but more bluegills are going to come down and basically stock the pond uh, with big, big breeding size bluegills. Um, that's also a key because the breeder size, you basically, you can feed them with the feeder and then they grow and then they have babies and then the bass eat their babies. And that's kind of sad, but that's kind of, that's the reality of what goes on. So you guys saw the graphs, you guys saw the analytics and basically we caught some biggins. Six pounders, four pounders, all that good stuff. My battery's gonna die. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.